Camosio from Gunmark TV and we're here today to show you a um, rather exciting rifle. This is the first pre-charge rifle from Stoga, um, which is an Italian brand, a whole part of the Beretta group, which is uh, obviously quite glamorous in itself. These are brought into the UK by GMK and um, as you can see, it's quite a stylish rifle. Um, it's a bit of a package deal, so um, you've got a, a ni really nice um, synthetic thumb hole stock. It's all very streamlined. There is quite a, I mean, obviously I see a lot of air guns through the years and they can be a bit samey. There's a real sort of unique feel and look to this. Um, so they've, they've achieved that, which isn't easy to do these days. But um, you get a scope through with it. You've got a um, two-stage trigger here. Um, and that's basically also got this uh, bolt here, which is quite an original design in itself, and it's sort of ergonomically done. Um, but it does feel feel very nice in use. Um, you've got a seven-shot magazine system. They make a big thing about um, sort of pro adaptive checkering and handling. So you've got these panels of checkering through. Um, then you've got the Sobsy silencer up front that comes with it. Um, the, the, this scope actually comes with it as well, which is a Stoga branded three to nine by 40 model. And um, again, it's, it's, it's all in for the price at the moment. Without the um, bipod, it's uh, £395. So that's the gun, the scope and the silencer. Um, now we'll go, we'll go take another look through the other side and uh, then we'll, we'll take a few shots and we'll see what we think. When you're looking at this rifle, as I say, it is a very stylish um, thumb hole stock and um, there's an awful lot when you, when you get the box of tricks with this gun there's an awful lot of um, things that are included and you get if we sort of take the section by section you get a, um, a an extra cheek piece now fitted there is actually the higher cheek piece uh, but there's two screws there's one a little screw there and there's one on the other side you undo those and then another cheek piece will fit in its place as you can see it's it's slightly lower so at the moment you've got a much higher cone there and it's just on a slide off basis so it, it all um, works it's quite sort of straightforward but it works quite well um, the same is with the grip they do specify that one is like there's a, a black grip that goes on there as well and um, they specify that one is larger than the other. In theory, I mean, that's the theory, but in, on test, when I switch them over, there isn't a great deal of difference on them. But again, you've got to just color coordination is a bit of fun to play around with and an added, an added extra. Um, looking to the butt, now, obviously it looks like that there, there was, this was designed to be um, fully switched around with spacers, but I just found this area a little disappointing because when you take all this apart, you, you can only put it back together with one spacer still there, and then that recess is in as well. So you, the, by the end of it, you've only really saved about um, three millimeters or whatever, but uh, it's, it, it, again, you can play around with the colors and it adds a bit of, bit of extra, but I thought they missed a trick really because you could have had some serious spaces that um, really did make a difference on the length, but there's a little bit of variation, but I say not, not, not a lot, but it's still a nice feature and it's a, a nice rubber pad there as well. Uh, moving through, you've got a, a safety catch there just a simple press from either side so it's in the right place and uh, all nicely nicely set up one point to mention here the trigger i think this feature is excellent uh, it's a two-stage trigger but there's actually 12 millimeters of movement for that blade along the sliding rail which is um which is great it really means you can have a totally set back trigger or push it forwards and just giving you that as i say that's quite a bit of movement so you can really set that for um uh, to be your you know your, for your personal requirement and your hand fit etc um you've got a seven shot magazine in this in the system there but you can also fit a single shot tray and i'll just show you that that's uh, that fits in there it's got a bit like day state i think they've pinched the idea but that snaps into place within the breech in just in place of the magazine and then you'll just roll your pellet into that and all very neat and I mean on these the, the magazine system itself felt particularly well made I have to say it's very very similar to the uh, Theobus
Bourbon's original system in that you wind the front round and um, it, it all works rather well. Um, looking to the front, you've got, um, as I say, this, they, they, you actually, when you buy the uh, rifle, it all comes in a um, sort of recessed cardboard carton. And the, both these Picatinny rails, there's one on each side, they first all screw into the action. Again, just two little screws, it's very easy to do. Um, and then on this side, you've, it's actually a magazine rack, so the magazine just slides in and um, holds it. So you've got two magazines with the gun, but one of the magazines will be held in, in um, situ like that. So right at the front, you've got a pressure gauge or manometer, um, so you can keep a check on what's going on here. You charge these to 200 bar, and obviously you can keep a check. There's your inlet valve, it's the probe style of charging, so you'll just push the probe in to do that and again they stoke a supply with this a really neat design which that that's the probe that will go into your um, valve there and obviously that end will snap straight into either a best fittings uh, quick coupler or um, a foster style clamp on either your air bottle or a pump so um, that, that, just that design I think is, is one of the slickest out there very neat that will come through the gun that back in there so that should plug to keep the dust out um, the only other thing to mention really I think here is the um, this bipod is actually an additional extra they're about 39 quid at the moment um, 39.95 and that's an optional extra that simply clamps onto the side of the Picatinny rails and then you've got um, like a lot of features on bipod you've got a spring loaded legs that snap right up you've got um, extendable legs as well so there's a lot of um, a lot of features on there that goes on there as well That's it. so you can if you like bipods you've got the, the option there um, but overall it's a, a very smart rifle so that's shot this in for virtual still air and uh, I can tell you certainly the accuracy wise you're looking at a bit I mean I've had um, sub half inch groups that sort of 25 yards with it so it's um, it's quite a nice little performer very streamlined right so I'm just going to have a few shots now and we'll just uh, see that bolt cycling See at the end there, um, as you've used all the shots that are in the magazine, then you actually get to the point, like the original um, theatre magazines, I believe, that when you go to cock it, it the bolt won't return because the uh, chamber is actually um, blocked. So as, as you see the magazine there, as I say, these are, there's a very nice, precise feel about them. They're very well made, uh, but when you've taken your final shot, it sort of seals and then you, you know you you haven't got a shot. So you can't fire with an empty magazine. And there's quite a few guns on the market where you can. So that's quite a neat design. I do like that, uh, the feel of that bolt. It's unusual, but uh, it works rather well. Um, but yeah, I mean, all in all, this is a very stylish gun. And um, as I say, Apart from the bipod, it's um, it's an all-in package for 395 quid at the moment, so not a bad first effort from Stoga, that's for sure.